program today is one not only of golf lessons, but also life lessons. And I hope to show by my own personal example that you, all of you, should never ever give up on your dreams. I try to tell people the truth, okay? I try to tell them what happened to me, how I was able to do this, and why I do it. And I think that I'm, I'm not making this up. If, this, if my life was a movie, you'd say they made it up. I mean, I'm paralyzed from the waist down. Most people don't know that. I was at a show the other day and the guy said, I forgot there was something wrong with you. I forgot that you were paralyzed, he said, because every shot you hit was great. There we go, big golf club, big tee. It's a very, very challenging right. thing to do, which I've done for 38 years and over 3,000 performances. And I still, after all these years, I still enjoy doing it. And it's, it's crazy that I still enjoy doing it. I enjoy working on my golf game. I enjoy seeing if I can do it when it counts. And that, to me, is the real enjoyment that I get out of this, because no matter how much you practice, you can't, I can't simulate what it feels like to do a show in practice. It's just like playing in a golf tournament. You could play all the practice rounds you want, but when they give you the scorecard and a pencil and say, okay, this counts, it's different. And I don't care who you are, from Jack Nicklaus on down. It's a very special three iron. <laughs> all right, so here we go. Most people can hit one ball, some can hit two. You guys thinking I can hit three? Yes. Here we go. Low, medium, and high. I love that machine. The one thing I really wanted to do in my life was to be a professional golfer. Now I'm laying in a hospital bed 41 years ago. And all kinds of tubes hooked up, this and that. And and, and to get from there to where I am now, I mean, I've done over 3,000 of these shows. I've met three presidents, movie stars. I met Ben Hogan six times. He was my favorite golfer. Sam Snead told me dirty jokes. Byron Nelson was standing so close to me, I had to ask him to move back a step or two. I've done 30 clinics with Tiger Woods. And uh, I've, I've performed at major championships. I've gone to St. Andrews, Scotland and perform there. And I've done a lot of things I never thought I could do. I've encouraged others just like you to reach for your dreams, strive for excellence, and do something you didn't think you could. So yes, our show is about hitting great shots. It is about having fun. But there's a point to it, and here's the point. If I can do this, something almost every single person I met said would be impossible to do, I'm here today in Smyrna, Tennessee to challenge each person out here to do something in your life that perhaps you think is impossible. For I found that with hard work, dedication, perseverance, you can achieve success at anything. So never let anyone tell you that you can't do something or that your dream is impossible. For if you are willing to pay the price, every single one of you can accomplish whatever it is that you want to do. And I use my own personal experience to tell my story and to encourage others to reach for their dreams, strive for excellence, and do something they didn't think they could. When I first started doing this, I used to get letters, postcards, got a couple telegrams. That's how long ago it's been. And now I get emails, tweets, Facebook Messenger of people who have in one shape, way, shape, or form have gotten something positive about what I tried to tell them. And I also want to try and encourage people, give them hope, show them what's possible. And I want to give them, I want to challenge people to do something in their life they didn't think they could. Another great idea you can get right here in Smyrna, Tennessee, the traveling club folds up, fits in any small suitcase or backpack, comes in a wood model, comes in an iron model. We suggest you borrow a putter when you get to this vacation destination like a radiator hose from a car. All right, so here we go. Don't laugh, I ain't hit it yet. <laughs> you can 
do it. <laughs> Yay, beautiful. Bucky is phenomenal. He is just, he's a wonderful service dog. He does his tricks phenomenal. Wonderful ball player. And he behaves beautifully every place we take him. Okay, in addition to being a great ball player, a super service dog, extremely handsome, he's also really smart. Mr. Bucky can answer questions by barking out the answers. Don't tell him the answers. But when he gets them right, and I'm betting he will, I want to hear some serious big time cheering. All right, we have three categories today. Math, general information, and golf trivia. Here we go for math. Two and two. Nice. Come on, this is big time talent right here. Spur to Tennessee. You don't see this coming through here every day. The truth of the matter is I can't do it forever, and I would rather stop one year early, then get to the point where I'm going, oh man, I don't want to do this anymore. So I have three basic criteria. Do I still enjoy doing this? Am I physically able to do it? And is my golf up to the standard for which I expect? As long as I have those three things, I would say I'm in. Is everyone listening? Don't try this at home. Okay. Try it at a friend's house. <laughs> Ready, aim, fire, down the middle, out with the flames. You can clap, it won't bother us. One, four. One more time, first tee, Smyrna. Well, I was thrilled to come here. I, I, I did this with my dad for 17 years and he always liked coming to small towns. He always thought it was a big deal for them. And no matter what the size of the crowd was, he always told me to do my best. And uh, I think about him every day. He's, uh, he was phenomenal. And, uh, one of my favorite stories about my dad is that we went to, we were in a restaurant and uh, we were talking about the show we had just done. And so there was a guy sitting next to us at the next table and he gets up to leave before us and he goes, listen, he says, I couldn't help but overhear your conversation between you two. And he says to my dad, he says, sir, he says, I just want to tell you that I think that's phenomenal that you take this handicapped kid with you to do these golf shows. And my dad says, nah, he says, you got it all wrong. He says, he's the golfer. He says, I'm just the gopher. <laughs> <laughs>